friends, this video on rational numbers part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with all these properties, now let us talk about reciprocal of a rational number. How can we find reciprocal of a number? Before that, what exactly is reciprocal? Now reciprocal of any number is that number which when multiplied by the number gives 1. So let's say if we have a rational number. So as we know a rational number is normally in the form of p by q. So if we have this p by q that is a rational number. So what is that number which when multiplied by this rational number would give 1? Do we have any such number? Of course we have. Just think of q by p. So if you multiply p by q with q by p, what do you get? You get 1. So what does that mean? That means that q by p is the reciprocal of p by q. Right? Now basically you know, whenever you have to find the reciprocal of any rational number, all that happens is the numerator becomes denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator. And that always becomes the reciprocal. So let us look at some examples. Let us say 3 by 7 is a rational number. So what would be the reciprocal of 3 by 7? So 3 by 7 when multiplied by 7 by 3 would give 1. So that means 7 by 3 is the reciprocal of 3 by 7. Or you can also say that 3 by 7 is the reciprocal of 7 by 3. Similarly, you say minus 16 by 3. So what would be the reciprocal of this? So this would be like 3 by minus 16. So when you do this, you get 1. So basically 3 by minus 16 is the reciprocal of minus 16 by 3. Or you can say minus 16 by 3 is the reciprocal of 3 by minus 16. So this is what we mean by reciprocal. So it is that number which when multiplied by the original number should give us 1. So reciprocal of a number is also known as multiplicative inverse of a number. Now why is it called the multiplicative inverse? It is called inverse because we are basically reversing the number. We are basically inversing the numerator and the denominator. So that is why the word inverse. Now why it is called multiplicative inverse? That's because when you multiply these two numbers, you get a 1. So the operation that is involved here is multiplication. So that is the reason it is also called multiplicative inverse. Now the question is, uh, here we saw one interesting thing that the reciprocal is determined only when on multiplication you get 1. So because of this reason, 1 is called the multiplicative identity for rational numbers. Now why is that? Why is Y given a special, uh, you know, special identity or a special name? That's because have you ever observed that you take any number and any number when is multiplied by 1, it gives the same number. So let us say you have a rational number P by Q. When you multiply it by 1, what do you get? You get P by Q. You consider any number on any number. Let's say uh, you think of... Um, say minus 50. So when you multiply minus 50 with 1, what do you get? You get minus 50. You take say 29, you multiply with it one. It, with 1, you get 29. You take 29 by 3, multiply it with 1, you get 29 by 3. So basically when you take any number and multiply it with 1, you get the same number. However, this doesn't hold true for 0 because when you multiply 0 with 1, what do you get? You do not get, do you get the same number? Yes, again, you get 0. So 0 is the number which when multiplied by 1 gives you 0. So basically, you get the same number. So this applies for all numbers including real number, including uh, integers, natural numbers, whole numbers, rational numbers. So for all rational numbers, any number multiplied by 1 gives you the same number and that is why one is called multiplicative identity and that is why when we want to find out multiplicative inverse we say that the product should be one because if we say that the product should be one so basically what happens the numerator and the denominator they changes and they become inverse of each other so that's the concept and that is why the names are identical here we use multiplicative identity and there we use multiplicative inverse on similar lines, let us try to find the reciprocals for some of these numbers. 
So like 51, what would be the reciprocal of 51? What is that number which when multiplied by 51 would give 1? Nothing but 1 by 51. Because to find reciprocal, the simple tip is to make the numerator as denominator and to make the denominator as numerator. So the reciprocal of 51 would be 1 by 51. 10 by 24. What is the numerator? It is 10. So make it the denominator. What is the denominator? 24. So make it the numerator. So 24 by 10 is the reciprocal of 10 by 24. Minus 11 by 6. So numerator is minus 11. So make it the denominator. And denominator is 6. Make it the numerator. So 6 by minus 11 would be the reciprocal of minus 11 by 6. Minus 9 by minus 3. So in this case, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So just inverse them. So minus 3 by minus 9. So that would be the reciprocal. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.